Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Marketing Podcast, your source for all things marketing. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have J.C. Granger on the line, and he's CEO over at Infinity Marketing Group. J.C., welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So uh, excited to get into today's topic. I mean, right now there's a lot of, you know, things going on with this coronavirus, everything else that's happening. And uh, for some people, you know, this is going to be the perfect time for them to think about growing their business. So we're going to get into that. But um, before we do, I want to get a little bit further into what you're doing over at Infinity Marketing Group. So tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Sure. So um, we've been around about uh, nine years now. Um, I've been doing digital marketing personally for a little over 20 Congratulations, <laughs> by the way. That's a big yeah. milestone, though. Nine uh, years, yeah. that's huge. Congrats almost, on that to start. Decade, yeah. Almost a decade. We'll have to have a big cake or something next year when we do it. But uh, <laughs> uh, we specialize in, in B2B tech companies very specifically. Mm-hmm. Now, we have clients in other industries because we get a lot of referrals, but mm-hmm. we really concentrate on the B2B uh, tech world. Um, so IT services, software, SaaS, you know, things like that. And so um, what are the typical, uh, just so that people listening have a good feel, like what are the typical clients or niches or size of the companies? Like what, what's your normal, sure. like ideal client profile so they know if they're the right type of client to follow up with you? Yeah, we really deal with a lot of the small to medium-sized tech companies. Um, if you're kind of in that 11 to 50 employees or maybe, you know, up to 100 employee range, we're probably a really good fit because we're kind of that second stage agency. We don't usually work with you know, uh, individual or two, three-man teams, but we typically, after you really gain traction and you're doing, you know, uh, one to five to ten million or so a year, that's when you bring us in. Just we're that agency you have just before you can afford to bring a full marketing uh, division in-house kind of thing, mm. right? So we're the, we're the team that gets you to that point. And we do full service, everything from websites, SEO, social media, paid ads, uh, video, um, LinkedIn marketing, obviously. I mean, you name it. We have it, and uh, and we're all in house as well. That's awesome. And uh, I know you've been focusing a little bit on the um, podcasting niche. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, and it, it kind of happened by accident. Um, I'll actually give a, a shout out to another uh, podcaster um, that does uh, on non competitive too. His name is Jason Swain. No, no, I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> hold on. First of all, you might you haven't been listening to the show often because just so you know, JC, um, I bring on podcasters and let them promote their podcast on the show oh, all great. the time, and I want to yeah. I want to send them traffic. Why? Because we're all this together. I love podcasting. Yeah. I love the <laughs> podcast community, and I'm here to help grow it. I mean, I run yeah. a school that literally teaches people how to podcast. Well, I love it. So just throwing that out there. So give him a shout out and what's the name of his podcast. Go ahead. Yeah. One of my favorite podcasters is Jason Swank. He does uh, the Swank Show today, and it's basically a marketing agency podcast. So he helps out agencies. And I've been listening to his podcast for like three years. And one day I said, you know what? I've I've consumed so much of this guy's information. I just, you know, and I never bought his products like that. But I was like, you know what? I want to give him something back for free. So I called him. I said, hey. I just want to I want to do this LinkedIn uh, thing for you to help you get more guests on your show. I'm not going to charge you anything. I'm just I'm just happy to do it because I learned a lot from from the years of your podcast. And he was like, awesome, thanks. So and so we started doing that for him. <clears throat> and um, he used to do one show a week, and he'd be booked out about three months in advance. Not bad, right? That's actually really mm-hmm. good. Um, by the time we had gone maybe through three or four months of working with him, he was booked out a year in advance. And then after about six months, he had to start going to two and three podcasts. I think two right now, two podcasts per week. Um, and even now, then he just said, hey, listen, he goes, I don't need to promote it anymore. So we're switching gears. So And so he was so happy with that that he told a lot of his agency owners and other podcast friends, and they started contacting us like, hey, can you get us guests on there too? And I was like, uh, sure. I mean, it wasn't something we specialized in. It's just it turns out that our system worked really well for that because because we're B2B. We, we became experts in, in a lot of things, but one in particular was – um, doing uh, lead generation for B2B tech companies. Well, just tweaking that a little bit turned out that it's really easy to find the podcast guests you're looking for with our system. So out of completely nowhere, that's a little side division we have now that just I love it. podcasters. Yeah. 
Man, that's awesome. Um, let's uh, let's switch it up a bit, JC. So uh, let's get into why right now there's some actual. Obviously, we never want nobody wants to ever be happy that bad things are happening to economy. I mean, a lot of people are being hurt right now, but um, there is another side of the argument. I tell people this all the time, so I'm not I'm not putting you under the fire on this one. I also um, believe this. Um, why is now a, a potentially a good time for some businesses to think about expanding and to kind of doubling down on growing their company? Well, I think the first thing I want to say is that I don't, it's not a matter of, you know, it's not war profiteering, right? It's mm-hmm. about the opportunity to help people uh, who have a need for it. So, for example, um, because we concentrate in tech, I'll be honest, when all this started happening, you know, I had that gut check, gut check like, holy crap, like, you know, are we can be okay. Now, granted, you know, I, we went through the recession and stuff, so we learned a lot of lessons because that happened, like, right when I started my agency. Um, yeah. And so uh, I learned a lot, and we, we, be, we were lean for years because I was like, you know, something like this could happen again. Now, it wasn't mm-hmm. a recession by itself, but we're in that same situation now where we could get to one. So we were a little bit better off because our infrastructure was more resilient. That being said, you know, I was really nervous. I was a little scared because I have people, you know, and I take care of my people and they mean a lot to me. And I'd, I was like, I didn't want to fire anybody. I didn't want to have to cut back or anything. Um, now, what ended up happening, literally in the last 48 hours, I kid you not, um, my entire feel is different because it you know right now people are turning to technology mm-hmm. to help circumvent all the the issues happening right now right the you know if you have a company that does video conferencing or any kind of online you know uh, workflow management um anything like that if you're in that in that kind of tech space if you work with wholesale uh distribution or workflow you know th- you're going to thrive right well it just turns out that we work with those companies already so I'm now being inundated with inbound uh, 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 leads coming in saying, hey, can you help us out? And I'm like, holy crap. And, you know, we got off the call this morning with a company that is creating um, – they're a tech company that's going to be creating coronavirus resources in one giant umbrella of websites to help people do telemedicine, which is when you can talk to a doctor via video conference because people um, need to know if they have the, the right or wrong symptoms for this. And so there are millions of people looking for this. And so we are literally looking at building out an entire series of websites just to help with this. So for the first time in a long time, not only do I think we're going to be, you know, just fine, you know, through all this, um, but I think it might be our best year just work-wise because of the demand that we're going to help fulfill. But honestly, most importantly, the fact that we get to have a direct impact on things that are going to help people through this makes me feel really good. I've spent a decade with my own agency almost, never once. Have I gotten to work on a project where I felt like I was making a direct impact on something really, really big, right? I've worked for, for tech companies, and that's great. But, you know, what were they doing? Okay, software that makes people's lives a little easier, but when did you really make an impact? And right now is the opportunity for us to work with clients that are literally helping people get through their lives right now. And so this is a really big time for us, not only from the business side, but just morale-wise and, and, you know, altruism-wise, it just feels really good. So if you're in an industry, I guess anyone listening, if you're in an industry that is going to be able to help, don't feel guilty that you're making more money. You know, don't don't price gouge. Don't be that person either. But don't feel guilty that you're thriving when other people are failing because you're actually, you're clearly helping. If you're being inundated with leads right now or if you're going to make a lot of money, it's because the service you offer helps. Yeah, I, I love it. And, and in my mind, I love that you brought up the point that it's not profiteering. So profiteering would be you buy a bunch of masks because you see the crisis coming, you mark them up, and then you put them on eBay and make a bunch of money. Because and I'm not knocking those people. Okay, you know whatever. Well, but I am. that being said, <laughs> well, I'm that being knock said, <laughs> well, they're well, they're opportunists, they're traders. I mean, and there's higher yeah. levels of doing this, and sure. it's a plan. They don't always win, so they lose yeah. some of these bets too. And then that's the mm-hmm. way they choose to make make their money. Fine, um, but you know. They lose also, so there's losing sides of that too, and that's not their first rodeo on on trying to buy a mask and flip it. So they might be might be making up for something else they get that they gauged wrong. But this is ad, talking about adding value. So this is going to the core of what we do. So I I didn't really understand the significance of what I do until this happened because I got an email from I get emails all the time and I got an email from a woman who said that her 
trip to um, to the islands had been canceled, and it was her vacation. And she said, um, "So I guess instead of uh, instead of vacationing, uh, uh, going to the islands, um, it's going to be Netflix and your podcast." And I'm like, <laughs> I mean, it made me yeah. smile. I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's why those dollars are going up. People are at home, they're bored, they yeah. need something else to do. They're tired of listening to negative news all yeah. day long, and they're inundated with all this other stuff. Which again. That's, you know, there's, there needs to be some actual real reporting about things. So I'm not knocking the regular news, but there needs to be another side of the coin. And I happen to be the other side of the coin. So I kind of understood my value in helping some of these people that are at home self-quarantine not go crazy and listen to some positive things and things like you, JC, and that amazing story you're selling. You're like, I don't want to sound bad here, but business is, we're like provi- we're providing some needs here that we've never even had the opportunity to do before. So when you think about yeah. preparation and what you've done in your growth through this decade almost, um, you're coming on your agency, it was all preparation for this moment. Like you're going to help save lives. That's amazing. And that, that's the part, like, this is the first time we actually have that kind of direct, I mean, I mean, actual tangible direct outcome, mm-hmm. if, you know, by doing these, these telemedicine websites and these, um, you know, there, there's a lot of different things that we're doing, but it's all direct impact, which is, uh, and we feel awesome. Like, we're, our brains are on fire. We're all riled up right now. We're, we're working a mile a minute. It's, it's awesome stuff. Man, that's exciting. So, JC, um, that being said, I could talk to you about this all day long, but we're about out of time. Um, if somebody's listening to this and they want to connect and they want to learn more about Infinity Marketing Group, um, what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, um, best way, go to our website at uh, www.infinitymgroup. The M stands for marketing, so infinitymgroup.com. Um, again, the, the, the people who are probably the most interested in talking to us are going to be people who are in the B2B space because that's where we really specialize and thrive. We are full service. We mostly work with tech, but, you know, we have a, a, you know, we have a ton of companies in different industries, you know, that come to us. So if you just like what we have to say and you like our attitude, we'll take in inbound of other industries, but we go after and really specialize in that B2B tech space. Um, LinkedIn marketing being one of our big ones because that's where the platform where you can really find those people to get those conversations started. Uh, but, yeah, I, th- I said our website is the easiest one. Um, if anybody uh, wants to reach out to us via email, you can just send an email to info at infinitymgroup.com, and those are probably the easiest ways, and we can somebody will answer you from there. Man, that's awesome. Well, hey, JC, been great having you on the show today, and uh, congrats on all the great things you're doing out there with this new um, group of sites and everything else you're doing to help your clients, and I'm going to definitely have you back on in 2021. We're going to do a reunion episode, and I want to hear how the rest of year, <laughs> yeah. how the rest of your year played out and how everything else launched, because I'm excited. It's going to be awesome. I know it. Um, and to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Hope you had a lot of fun listening, because uh, we had fun making this and bringing it to you. If you did, Don't forget, subscribe to the podcast, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Marketing, give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. I mean, I'd love to know what's going on in your world um, and keep the conversation going on the YouTube community. And uh, JC, thanks again for coming on the show.